Welcome to Comics on a Pyre, a channel to have a meaningful conversation over movies, life, books, and shows, and maybe just a spot to spend time BSing over comics. If you like your entertainment with a bit of substance, then you, my vagabond friend, have come to the right tavern. Tether your horse by the post, then come right on in and warm yourself by the fire. Tap that subscribe button, and for the next few minutes, my fellow George Carlin reprobate, lend me your ear. <laughs> Okay, now we're in the Joker's, I guess, hidden hideaway lair or something like that. It was never in the movie, so they just made this up. All right, so you have two mines and a ceiling drop off, and then to the far right, you're gonna have a jumper. Get rid of that mine first, ease your way to the right, and use the gun. Takes five hits, one, two, three, four, and five. Get rid of that jumper, because as soon as you move to right a little bit, it's gonna be a problem, they're gonna have drop offs, so get rid of that mine, pull it back a little bit. Now I'm gonna to try to refill my health a little bit and stock up on some ammo. One, two, three, grab one. Oh, all right, we got some health here. The only problem is when you get health in this game, a lot of times you lose health because you get this kid hit right again. So to get 100% is not always guaranteed. Boom, see? I grabbed it and then I got hit again. So that's why sometimes I'll let one go. Jump. All right, so you got a drop off, a little tank, and then to the far right of the screen, you got a mine and a tank there waiting for you. So if you run across, they're just gonna be waiting for you because you're gonna be trying to run away from this drop off. So might as well just get the spreader out, get rid of the mine and the little tank, now you can just move across no problem. Just like I said before, the spreader goes through walls. So use that to your advantage. Get rid of enemies ahead of time before they even become a problem. So now you got a drop off, a flamethrower, and then I believe to the right it's gonna be another jumper. Oh no, no, no. See, you got, I got hit. Then get hit by the mechanical item. I got hit, bam by the explosion to the right. Anytime you have a cliff with those uh, mechanical items, they're always gonna explode at the end of the cliff. So stay clear of it. So look what we have here. We got a tank, we got a flamethrower, which is supposed to be heat wave, like I said before. Get rid of him. Now we got a jumper to the right of the screen. Try to inch your way over. If they hit, stay where you're at. You don't wanna get too much of them on the screen because then he'll just jump right at you. All right, another one. Ooh, man, I was a little bit close there. So this one's a little bit tricky. You gotta get him while he's jumping up instead of landing. So you gotta get him as he lands because he's gonna jump up again real quick. All right. He's all done. So I believe the stage is clear. On to the next level. Okay, stage four two. This one's gonna have a lot of mechanical gears on the ground and there's gonna be some platforms hanging over it. So again, we ease up. Never know when there's a jumper ahead. I don't believe he's on any of these uh, on, this, on this stage itself. But, you know, you get horrified by those things. So you get these Russian attack guys, move forward. Now here's a, a perfect example of the spreader. You got a heat wave guy up the top right. So you're gonna jump off and you're gonna use the spreader, knock him out before he even becomes a problem. But be careful because the Russian attack guys come down on the left-hand side. See what I mean? Jump over him and they'll keep on repeating themselves. So just because you got rid of him one time that doesn't mean he's not gonna come. See, this is exactly what I'm saying. Let him get killed, walking on the, uh, the floors of gears. Boom. Now those platforms that are too high up, you can't make that jump. So you, they force you to cling to the side of the wall and jump over to the next platform. Use your spreader, 
Get rid of him before he even is a problem. There's mines down below. There's gears on the floor that are mechanical moving. Get rid of these guys above, uh, way beforehand. Say, look, look, there's solid ground there, but there's mines waiting for you. So you got a heat wave to the right. Get rid of him. Jump, jump. Okay, we're done with that level there. Now, instead of gears on, on the floor, you got gears on the ceiling. So you can't jump too high. So they want you to be somewhere in the middle of this stage here. Be patient, take your time, bam, got hit. See, that's the perfect jump right there, which is very hard to do sometimes. You got gears in the middle there, not an issue, walk right by it. Now these tanks are gonna come on the floor, and they'll come out of nowhere. Oh man, this thing always hit me. Just before you're thinking about what you're gonna do, that's why it's good to have the default and punch mode. Because with these tanks, they just keep on going. If you had the spreader or the boomerang or the the bat gun, you can only stop one tank at a time. Ah, you always get hit there. Now this one, you gotta jump up to the left and just jump over the gear. Not a big deal. And it's on to the next stage. All right, now we're on to four three, the last part of this stage, right before the boss. I like how they put the exit right at the beginning. So go ahead and just jump. If I have like one or two, extra health, I just go ahead and just jump straight down. Uh, that part reminds me of Battletoads when the rat is chasing you and you gotta get to the the time bomb at the bottom of the board before the rat gets there. Uh, that part always reminds me of Battletoads. I might do a walkthrough of that one day, but that game is hard. So anyway, I just go ahead and jump, let the electricity hit me, cause I know there's gonna be one of these uh, ceiling drop off down here. And I'll just go ahead and replenish my ammo and my health. Might take me a little bit of time, but trust me, if you just jump, it's just way better than trying to negotiate your way down. Uh, by the time you try to think about it, you'll be getting hit by a couple of electricity bolts and you're about four or five hits over the end. All right. So this part is going to be a little tricky. I failed it like three times. Let's get rid of this guy ahead of time. Like I said, that's why you want the ammo so you can avoid a lot of this the dangerous jumps get rid of the the enemy as they're waiting for you to land on that platform okay now we're going to go up to these level platforms and the ones at the top are just little square conveyor belts and boy are they hard it's best just to land on them and just jump again instead of trying to get the timing on it now, as soon as you come up here, you're gonna have two platforms that have electricity. Ah, see, you go right to the beginning to mine. This place is expertly mapped out. They know you're gonna fall, a greater chance to fall, so they put that mine there. So we're gonna try this again. Ugh. Try not to get frustrated. That's the biggest thing with this stage. You get frustrated, then you get sloppy, you get angry, you just want to rush through it. There you go. Jeez, took a while to get that guy. All right, here we go. Second time. Walk a little bit. All right. Now you use your spreader again. Get rid of the tank before it even becomes an issue. Third time's a charm. Let's get rid of this guy. Then we're gonna make it through this time. All right, get rid of the same guy again. That's one thing I don't like about Nintendo games, that, you know, but I guess it's part of the charm. The enemies respawn. This is what they do. 
All right, so we're gonna try this a little bit differently. I guess I got frustrated here, so I didn't even get the spreader out. I was like, F it. That's something you don't wanna do in this game. Get frustrated, you start making stupid mistakes, losing energy you would have never lost in the first place. Ugh, yeah, yeah. Ugh. All right, Woo. Now, it's just a bunch of about four or five ladders straight on up, but you gotta take your time here because there's always enemies waiting. See, this is what I'm talking about. There's always enemies waiting for you to rush head on. Take your time, dodge, dodge, dodge. Now it's ideal, ugh, it's ideal to try to get him right here. Don't try to get any closer. Always like the second stairway down from him. Take your time again, dodge, work your way up to that next stair, dodge, dodge, dodge. Take your time, don't get frustrated. Boom, love the boomerang. Boomerang's a great weapon. So again, don't try to land on the platform, just punch him from that platform. As he's spraying, then jump up. Boomer again, always to the rescue. Boom. All right, two hearts. That is lucky. You don't want to jump too far to the left, because then you got to do that whole crap again. Whew. All right. Final stage, final level of this stage right here. You're going to have a lot of ceiling drop-offs. A lot of these claw guys. Don't know exactly what their names are. But... He walks to the left, and you inch, you inch, you inch, ugh, inch, and then the claw guy, he disappeared. So, <laughs> I guess that's the double-edged sword. A lot of times the characters do respawn, but sometimes, like Ninja Gaiden, if you just walk off the stage, they're gone. You don't have to deal with them no more. You get lucky sometimes like that. All right, so we're down two health bars. And I believe the leader's at the end of this stage right here. Oof. Okay, now there's gonna be two squares here. There you go, stay right in this position right there. Get them when they're coming down, move to the left. These boxes go through you, if they're lit, and you're punching them, they won't hurt you. So you stay right there, to the left, and then you run to the right and then jump, try to get avoid their bullets. Get the next one, come down, get the stairs, jump, avoid, stay, reset, right there. Boom, now he's done. See, right there, you're hitting him, hitting him, hitting him, hitting him, hitting him. boom. Turn around, stay right there, boom best spot to beat that enemy and we're on to I believe the last stage the cathedral where you fight the Joker all right then see you next time